Hi again guys, welcome back to another Big Al Devlin video and this is part of my progress series that I, I have. Um, I've done a few uh, measurement videos in the past where I've measured my arms, my chest, my waist in a couple of different areas, my legs and you know those kind of things right. Um, just one for myself so I can look back over time whether I'm gaining size, losing size, losing body fat or, or whatever and, and also partly for your guys entertainment you know um, I do often get on Instagram especially um, as well as on here people asking oh how big your arms all that kind of stuff so I feel that by putting a video out there it answers the questions for the majority of the people who who, who want to know that kind of stuff right now um, that's enough talking really, um, so we're going to get straight into it. The only other thing I've got to say is I haven't measured myself in 10 months. That was the last time I did a video like this, 10 months ago, which is a hell of a long time ago. Um, and obviously for those who are following the channel, you'll know that for about three of those months I wasn't able to train due to, to injuries uh, from a car crash. Um, so it's going to be an interesting one. I feel bigger. And looking in the camera, I feel like I'm in better shape um, since the last time. I haven't checked out the last video in a while. I mean, there's a few more tattoos and stuff like that, right? But um, uh, other than that, I feel and I, I feel and, look, and and to me, I look better. And I suppose whatever the measurements show, then it doesn't really matter. Well, it doesn't matter to me. Um, but uh, uh, you know, the mirror, so to speak, doesn't lie. Um, but it, it, that's an interesting one to do anyway. One thing I will apologise about guys is I haven't got a set of scales um, in my place and the gym scales have been down for a couple of weeks so I haven't got a body weight to share with you guys. I do apologise over that. I'm actually really interested in, on how much I weigh, finding that out uh, and I'll tell you as soon as possible, as, I, as soon as I find out. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to measure my arms, okay? Uh, so we'll start with a bicep, uh, and there might be a couple of cutouts on the video, guys, because sometimes I struggle to do this um, to get a, a decent, well, not the, uh, to get a correct measurement. And just to show you there, guys, if I read that out to you, let's make it as tight as we can. Uh, there we go. Yeah, just a t tidbit over 18. Now I think my arms before were about 18 and a quarter, which is basically what they are there. So no increase or decrease in size, which I'm quite happy with. Conditioning, shit as usual. <laughs> well, I got one of those arms, which is just big. I wasn't born to look pretty. Um, I just got big arms, that's it. <laughs> uh, well, fairly big arms, 18 inches isn't, isn't massive, but it, you know, bigger than most people's. Um, but they don't look that great. I, I do agree with you guys on that one. Um, uh, I haven't got one of those arms where you can see the vein popping out. Now this is one that I've not done before, uh, but my forearm there, so just across that part of the forearm, my intense stop is 14 and a half inches. So this bit around my forearm, just beneath the elbow, is 14 and a half inches. I don't know if that's big or not, but there we go. I thought I might as well uh, measure it out whilst I'm down here. Right, and the next bit to do is obviously uh, the chest. Now this is a really difficult one to get right because I find with my back, my back is quite big at the top and I'm trying to obviously, when I measure my chest, you, you put it around here, but because my back is kind of almost rounded because of its size, um, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, tape measure, it does kind of slip off, <laughs> especially when trying to bend over to, to show you guys what the tape uh, measure is sh uh, showing. Um, it can be quite a difficult one to do, but if any luck, we'll get a correct measurement. Oh god, it keeps slipping every time I go to tighten it. Ah. Right guys, I will pause this and I'll be back in one sec. Alright guys, so I've got a measurement there. And if I can show you, it's a little hard to show, it is basically 50 inches, uh, pretty much right on the dot, uh, fraction either way. But yeah, 50 inches from all the way around the chest. So, you know, I think that's gone down a little bit. My pecs, they feel 
they feel a little bit bigger. Um, I'm certainly, uh, they, they, they feel a little bit stronger. I am beginning to specialize in bench press, so I imagine the next time I do this video, which hopefully will be a month to two months time, there'll be you know, a reasonable uh, increase in size around my pec. And the reason for that, as I say, is I'm specializing in bench press at the moment, so you know, I'm gonna get big chest, big shoulders, those kind of things, right? All right, the waist. This, I look in better condition, in my opinion, looking at myself in the camera, but I imagine I've got bigger. And the reason I say that, is I've had to increase the size of my weightlifting belt to fit it correctly. So, here goes nothing. Okay. 38. <laughs> yeah, that's gone up. That's gone up by about two inches. But, I feel like I'm in pretty good nick. So I don't know if it's a power belly, because look, I mean, it's not like I can pull off a, a shitload of weight. Yeah, okay, I'm not, I've not got a six pack, but look, I'm not pulling off I'm trying to pull quite hard there. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit, but nothing too much. And you can see the outline of the, the abs a little bit and stuff. So, you know, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, I'm just gonna call it a power belly. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do now, guys, is, oops, is try and measure the legs, okay? At various different points. There are three points, really, in my opinion, to uh, measure the legs, top, middle, and towards the knee. And we'll see what we can get for this. I imagine these are a little bit on the smaller side since last time. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so that is 30 inches. So going across there, 30 inches. Uh, let's go then across the middle of the leg. Uh, Twenty-four and a quarter, and then around the bottom of the leg, right above the knee, we've got nineteen and a half. So, if you guys, put your back. You don't want to be talking to my belly. <laughs> so, nineteen and a half. Was it twenty-four and a quarter, and thirty inches around the top of the leg? That I'm quite pleased with. Um, in my experience in the past, my legs are always the first thing to gain size when I'm training legs frequently. Um, and when I stop training legs frequently, they're the first thing, well, not just, just training legs, but training heavy, like deadlift, uh, squat, things like this, they, they respond quite quickly. Or if I put on a, a load of size all over my body, my legs tend to put a little bit more size on than everywhere else. But when I lose a bit of weight, lose a bit of uh, size, or don't, don't train, uh, just whatever training, it doesn't have to be legs or whatever, my legs are always the first place to lose a little bit of weight. Um, Sorry, a little bit of size. So that's to be expected if they're smaller than last time, but they're still pretty big. I mean, 30 inches. I used to have a 28 inch waist once, so that's bigger than what my waist used to be, just around my leg. So I'm not too, uh, too uh, displeased or anything with, with that. Um, so there you go, guys. A uh, quick update. Um, I found out those figures at the same time as you. Uh, let me know what you think. See you soon. Bye-bye.